In this video, I'm going to share with you some important decisions that you need to make before you quit your job to start a business so that once you're actually ready to start working on your business, you can avoid wasting time in indecision and analysis paralysis. For me personally, not making these decisions while I was still working in my nine to five and before I actually launched out on my own cost me a lot of wasted time in overthinking, overwhelm, and just being stuck in never ending research mode. The first decision that you need to make before you leave your job is to decide what type of online business do you actually want to start? Visualize the kind of life that you want to live, let's say a year, two years, or even five years from now. And think about what you want your day to day life to look like. Then decide what type of online business you should start that will embody that. Do you want to sell physical products or what we know as um, traditional e commerce? Or do you want to sell digital products such as ebooks, templates, workshops, online courses, and other digital downloads? Or maybe you want to offer one on one services such as coaching or consulting. Click the link in the description box below to get five online business models you can start today. Your online business can take any form, but it's important for you to research each model that you are interested in and find out what it's going to require of you to get each one of them off the ground. And also be honest with yourself in terms of your personality. Which one do you see yourself being most enthusiastic about and wouldn't mind getting up every day to work on? Because the reality is that with a business, every day is not going to feel like a vacation because there's always work that needs to be done, but you shouldn't dread getting up every day to work on your business. The next decision that you need to make is to decide who you will be serving with your products or services. Who are your customers going to be? Who is your audience that you're hoping to reach? This is a very important decision to nail down before you leave the security of a full-time job's regular income. You want to decide on this while there's no pressure to make money quickly yet. And also where are you going to find these customers? How are you going to attract them? Where do they hang out online? Once you've identified who they are, you will need to do customer research on them so you can know exactly what problems they're experiencing that your products or services can solve. Also, what are their hopes, dreams, and desires that your products or services can solve as well? And once you find out who they are and where they hang out, how do you attract them? How do you plan on getting their attention? Will you be focusing mostly on social media? If you are, which one? Pick a maximum of two platforms on which you know they hang out and focus on those two platforms with one being your primary and the other being your secondary platform. The worst thing you can do is to try to be on all the social media platforms, especially when you're just starting out and it's just you with no outside resources. Because what's going to happen is you're going to feel like a hamster on the wheel to nowhere, trying to keep up with all the platforms and all their rules. You're not going to do well on any of them because you're putting in the bare minimum on all these platforms without making any tangible progress on any of them. And then you end up hitting life. Once you start doing well in your business and then you expand to maybe hire someone to help you out, then you can try to be on more platforms. Aside from attracting your customers through social media, will you be creating regular content online? So you give your potential customers an opportunity to find you through online search. So your regular content could come in written form, like a blog or audio, like a podcast or video, like a YouTube channel. But whichever one it is, have a plan in place for how you will consistently attract your customers. Moving on to the next decision you need to make before quitting your nine to five in order to start a business. One thing you need to think about is what do you envision your day to day to look like? We all have our daydreams and fantasies of what we want our ideal lifestyle to look like. So when you picture yourself as an online business owner, what do you see yourself doing every day from the time you wake up 
to the time you go to bed. What type of tasks or activities would your ideal life include when it comes to running your business? If as a business owner, you see yourself being the mastermind behind a highly successful restaurant, then maybe online business isn't your thing. If you don't really fancy a lot of one-on-one -on -one interactions with different people, then you probably don't want to start a coaching or consultant business. It is very important that you decide what type of day you want to have for the most part before you actually quit your job. Now, of course, there will be exceptions here and there because things happen and no two days are ever the same. But for the most part, there should be some things that are constant about your day. Now, the next decision that you need to make is to decide when during your day will you be working on your business? Now, this will mean different things depending on which business you decide to start. You may have the ability to schedule dedicated working times as well as some white space into your calendar for when you won't be working. A big reality of quitting your nine to five and starting your own business is that the good thing is now you have your whole day to yourself to do your own thing. The bad news is now you have your whole day to yourself to do your own thing. Trust me, in the beginning, before you quit your job, you're going to think you have all this time and you're going to do this and do that and take care of this and achieve that. But that time gets away from you so fast. If you do not have an immovable, unshakable, dedicated time blocked on your calendar every day as dedicated work time, you're not going to get anything done. It's not going to happen. An excellent way to successfully carve out your work time is by doing a time audit. A time audit is when you document how you spend every single minute of your day so that you can see in on paper in black and white exactly where your time is going, how you're spending your time. A time audit helps you see what you currently spend your time working on each day and also where you have free time. When you do a time audit, you know exactly when you should schedule time to work on your business based on how you have allocated your time. A time audit also forces you to rethink your priorities. We vote our priorities with our time. So once you see on paper the activities that you're actually spending your time on, you know whether that activity needs to be moved or eliminate it so that you can make room for more productive work like your business. Because the reality is that the time that we think that we're less busy and can get work done may not actually be the best time to try to get work done. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel to continue getting more actionable tips and resources that will help you in your online business journey. To get the list of online business models that you can start today, click the link in the description box and I'll talk to you again soon.